So I've been kind of thinking to myself recently of my experience with my iPhone 15 Pro so far for the past like maybe like four or five months. And I will tell you, the iPhone 15 Pro is probably the best iPhone Apple's ever made, as it should be. Like, this should be the best iPhone you know, Apple's ever made because it's like the most expensive iPhone Apple's ever made too. But after my experience of using this particular device, I am just so happy with the way this particular you know, iPhone, the experience this iPhone has given me for the last like four or five months. And I really do think it was that perfect upgrade coming from my iPhone 13 Pro. So with my 13 Pro, I love that iPhone too. And that honestly before this was like the best iPhone I ever owned too. That particular iPhone, very beautiful, you know, beautiful display, very good battery life. And I love the performance I was getting from that iPhone as well. But with my iPhone 15 Pro now, the thing that I'm getting with this particular device is almost like that perfect upgrade coming from my other iPhone. So with my iPhone 15 Pro, I'm still maintaining a very beautiful display, but I haven't really had anything to complain about with this particular iPhone. Like it really has been the most perfect device that I've ever had. Realistically speaking, I've never had an iPhone like this where I was thinking to myself like, how much better can Apple do? Usually before, you know, you can see them kind of remove the notch, make the cameras better, make the battery life better, all these other things. With this iPhone, besides removing the dynamic island, I genuinely don't know what Apple could do to make this iPhone that much better for my everyday use case. With my iPhone 15 Pro, I've been handling a lot of things with a camera. And what's funny is, is that before, on my second channel, anytime I really made a you know video on that channel, it was almost always my dedicated DSLR camera. And if I was traveling or going somewhere, I always had to carry this big bulky camera around with me so I can continue to make these types of videos, you know, on my on my second channel, even my third channel. But then with my iPhone 15 Pro, this camera is just significantly better than my past iPhones. It's slightly better than my iPhone 13 Pro. But the benefit of this particular iPhone is that on cinematic mode, I can actually zoom in and zoom out of my particular iPhone, you know, camera on cinematic mode, which is massive. Just that in and of itself has actually allowed me to not bring my particular DSLR camera anymore, you know, and instead I can just go and take my iPhone 15 Pro with me. And on top of that for content creation, when I'm recording this audio, sometimes I don't even have to go ahead and, you know, bring in my MacBook into my studio or like bring it into a closet or something to record. I can just go and take my iPhone because it already has a USB Type-C port. I can just go ahead and just plug in all my dongles and accessories into my iPhone 15 Pro and use my particular iPhone that way almost as like a full-on recording device. So I love my iPhone 15 Pro. Just the fact that this thing has a better camera and USB-C is one of the best things ever Apple's ever done. And I'm so happy with the way they approach this iPhone and it probably is the best iPhone they've ever made. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.